Hi, we are Audrey and Jamie, and we will be talking about the Romantic Period. We will cover an introduction towards the Romantic Period, who created the foundation and how it became, as well as a section about Puccini, what influenced composers during this period, Recondita Armonia Tosca by Giacomo Puccini, and an overall summary. The Romantic era of music started during the late 18th century or early 19th century and ended during the 20th. It was mainly pioneered by Ludwig van Beethoven and Franz Schubert, with the aim of experimenting and expanding on previously developed compositional rules and musical language during the classical period. Fundamental changes seen throughout this era included melodies associated with external references, like an emotion being expressed, the use of rubato, which is used to adjust the tempo in order to reflect the emotional intensity the music should convey, and greater use of techniques, like bowing by the bridge, etc. In addition to the development of musical forms, instruments such as the piano received a change in their materials, as well as an additional three octaves to the physical keyboard, allowing musicians to better express themselves with the increased pitch range. The introduction of new instruments within an orchestra, such as the piccolo or contrabassoon, was added to create a broader dynamic range and a richer harmony. This musical expansion was primarily focused on expressing emotions and telling narratives rather than the actual form and sound of the piece. For example, Beethoven's Pastoral Symphony No. 6, which is mainly played with woodwinds in order to develop a countryside scenery used to help express Beethoven's affinity for nature and his love for walks through the country. Other themes expressed in romantic music include folk music or stories as a means to proclaim or reclaim national pride. This era of music was substantially related to Romanticism, which was a European artistic and literary movement that arose around the second half of the 18th century. One of the most popular composers was Giacomo Puccini. Giacomo Puccini was an incredibly successful Italian composer during the late Romantic era, also known for the development of the Verismo style, where he brings realism into the opera through music and lyrics. He began music as a child, as his family was the leader of an orchestra called Cattedrale di San Martino. To start his career, he was allowed to perform in choirs and was given several music lessons supervised by his uncle. Later on, at the age of 22, Puccini earned a diploma from the School of Music, after which he studied at the Milan Conservatory. Giacomo Puccini is best remembered for a variety of his pieces such as La Bohème, Tosca, Madama Butterfly, and Turandot. Puccini is also popularly known for his melodies capturing the piece's character's emotional state, whilst his composed duets arias remain popular in operas, films, and concert programs. Overall, during the Romanticism period, art and literature took a large part in inspiring composers as this allowed them to become more expressive and attentive. This period, symphonies, virtuosic piano music, dramatic operas, and passionate songs all lead back to art and writing. The Romantic era is popularly known for its intensity and energy. This gave way for music to become more related to art, theater, and literature. Heading towards a new approach in music forms as ideas and compositions became more out of the box, proactive and innovative, causing an immense change within music in comparison to the past centuries, and as some may say, the beginning of modernism. Additionally, some other famous composers during this period include Richard Wagner, Frederick Chopin, and Tchaikovsky. Some main characteristics within Romantic era classical songs are individuality, chromatic harmonies, an increasing amount of orchestras, distinct contrast in dynamic and pitches, and expressive tones. Recondita Armonia Tosca is an aria similar to Puccini's other popular works. The piece begins with an algamation of the orchestra. Recondita Armonia is performed in the opera Tosca during the first act. The song is to represent Cavaradossi, a character from the song, who is dreaming about his romantic relationship with Flora Tosca. The entire opera is a combination of love, death, and terror, where each song tells a certain story. The performance includes distinct contrasts of dynamics, specifically crescendo and diminuendo, creating richer harmony, smoother transitions, and developing the elegant, loving, dreamy, and curious atmosphere that's constructed throughout the performance. This piece's opening includes a crescendo into the first section of the song, allowing the string instruments to begin the piece. The piece later builds as they begin adding the flute, where each instrument has a different phrase to play that later unites to create a beautiful beginning to the song. The volume later decreases, allowing the singers to gain the main spotlight whilst the instrumentation supports the melody, allowing the vocalists to predominate whilst the instruments accompany them, and overall, encapsulate the atmosphere of this piece. Recondita Armonia has a progressive rhythm with a 3-4 and 6-8 time signatures. 
providing strong beats to establish the most important phrases. Here we have shown an example of this. On the sheet music, you can see that the phrase is repeated. However, it has been adjusted and the pitch has been slightly changed, whilst keeping a similar bass, creating a subjective effect, placing emphasis on the piece's character story. This piece also includes legato accents and staccato to play the piece smoothly, without breaks in between, generating a more carefree, rhythmic transition into the build-ups, whilst also providing stronger prominence of certain sets of notes. Giacomo Puccini also includes many asciaturas or grace notes, focusing on creating elegant movements relating to the piece's story, playing brief notes as an embellishment of this specific phrase, making these principal notes become a recurring motif within this piece. Recondita Harmonia is based upon a sonata form musical structure. The piece includes three main sections, the exposition as the initial presentation of the song, then the development segment, where the musical idea is once communicated again, but transformed throughout the course of the composition, for example in this section. It later developed into Last but not least, Recondita Harmonia ends with a recapitulation portion, where the piece returns to the initial beginning, but with a few adjustments similar to how we spoke about the progressive rhythm in this piece. The melody in the piece alternates in the introduction of the song. Initially, it is played by the flutes and violins, then around 13 bars in, the vocalist is also known as a second melody. It emerges then combines with the beginning melody. In this arrangement, the first melody fades into the background to support the vocalist, primarily by the flutes and the violins. Then combined melodies provides a sweet, sonorous tune. The combined melody provides a sweet, sonorous tune with a harmonious and a pleasant musicality. This piece is a moderately slow-paced song, with beautiful accents and dynamics to accentuate the atmosphere that Puccini wanted to produce with this piece, somewhat dreamful, comforting, loving, and peaceful. In the performance, near the end of the piece, the vocalist presents a more emotional, stronger impression to complete the song with an unforgettable ending. Recondita Armonia combines the use of the instruments of mainly the flute, harp, cello, and violin, which were carefully selected for their soft and sweet timbre, which helps support the message behind this aria, which refers to one of the characters dreaming of his lover Floria Tosca. Throughout the piece, the instruments follow very closely to the actual vocalist, such as playing specific notes one beat at a time to follow syllables that are sung, for example, here. <laughs> The instruments also play along with the dynamics and pitch of the vocals, as due to the orchestra containing nearly two rows of both flutes and violins, with many other instruments as well, the range and richness of the orchestra have a lot of variation and so they layer on top of each other when needed, in order to create a strong sound, for example at the end. Aside from the instruments, sometimes in other variations of this opera, there are also backup vocalists for when the main vocalist is recovering from a long note. Recondita Armonia has a BPM of 48 and has a tempo marking of Adante Lento. There is also a common use of Ral and Rit, or Ralentando and Ritardando, which is the gradual slowing of the tempo. These are seen at the ends of a certain vocal point or at the end of the piece, in order to end the piece smoothly and to let out any tension built up previously. This then goes into the next aspect, which is the timbre of this piece. The piece stays consistent throughout and generally sticks to a silky, sweet, and rich timbre which is built up from this soft and quiet dynamic, in order to help spotlight the vocals instead of the piece itself. 
Moreover, the texture of this piece is mostly homophonic, as throughout the piece there is only one main voice, which is the vocals, and the instruments are mostly backup and are played when the vocals are present. In some cases, the instruments do not follow along. For example, the beginning where the piece builds into the melody, but for the majority, the melody dominates the piece. Harmonies within this piece sound consonant and are mainly played in two-note chords known as intervals. Triads and four-note chords are only played towards the ending of this piece. This further shows the progressive rhythm and narrative aspect of this piece as it slowly builds up towards the ending, where the character story is supposedly climaxing and coming to a close. The piece also utilizes a technique known as tremolo, as seen in this image. This is also used towards the end of the piece to give urgency and build tension until the final high B-flat is sung by the vocalist. The tension is then released through the use of an F major arpeggio into an F major chord. Throughout this piece, a 1-4-5-1 chord progression is used, which is repeated throughout with slight changes. The Romantic period of music was an age of development and expansion. From the previous composing rules that have been set in stone during the Classical period, artists during this period built upon them whilst popularizing unfamiliar techniques and encouraging musicians to use music as form for self and emotive expression. During this time, Puccini was an advocate for the operatic style known as Verismo. This style was focused on realism and depicted ordinary characters with everyday emotions, although it tends to focus on the more negative aspects. He created the opera Tosca. One of the most popular pieces, Recondita Armonia, is a sweet love song about a man named Cavaradossi dreaming of his lover Floria Tosca. This is reflected within the song as demonstrated by the smooth and rich orchestra playing in the background. These developments demonstrate the importance of the Romantic period because of its innovative approach in music forms and compositions, as well as the incorporation of narrative stories and powerful emotions in order to create a unique musical experience for the audience never heard before.